All right, I'm back for another game. Game 11. Let me dominate somebody. All right, who do we got? Hakobor. Bore, Hakobore in Japanese, maybe? Hakobore. All right, this is keepable. It has Kanta in hand, three lands. Island, pass. Okay, Bulgari color. Temple of Malady. Car goes to the bottom. All right, search for us, Kanta. Some card selection. Still don't know what I'm up against. Black Green is known for graveyard themes. Alright. Um, still mana bound, I still need all my land. That. Okay, I see some shrines. Oh, I gotta keep that too. So, is it just two color? When you play shrines, you're going into the five colors. Not always. Alright, pass the turn. Let's see what we're up against. That gives a mana of any color. Uh oh. Questy is. Look at them heads. Ooh, that thing vision. Alright, keeping that too. Everything's a keeper. I have yet to dump a card in my graveyard. Alright, we're gonna deep freeze this guy. He's giving me a beating. There we go. Make him an old form. Oh, okay. He's got plane walkers then. If he's playing beacon, he's got planes walking. Not only does he got planeswalkers, he got anti-planeswalker technology. All right, library. Last um, let's ping this guy. Take time of ice. Oh, it's legendary. So the other one got killed, that's right. Okay, he's playing that guy, but that doesn't get questing beasts back. But that is recursion from the graveyard. Library. Tap the other guy. Heal the loaded. Should I risk tapping out? Ah. I couldn't counter anyway. Ways to defeat you. Pick one. All right, Nars is gonna fetch me something. Meditate and prepare. Who? 
think there's value in a thematic compass. It's just even better than the counter spell. Seems to be creature heavy. Alright, I'll go with compass. Pass the turn. What's he got? White mana this time. From his sanctum of fruitful harvest. What you got, opponent? Other creatures get minus one one. Kervik the spiteful. Okay. I remember that was a card back in the day. Kervik spite from like Mirage Block. Yeah, that would decimate a bunch of tokens. One one. All right, my turn. Another goodie. Dump a good card like that. No, I need to. I need my seventh land. In the graveyard. Let's go back. Let me see here. This guy's gonna be right back at me and I don't have my seventh land to flip my thumb at a compass. Okay, let me I gotta think about this. So he doesn't stop the 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 questing beast from coming in. One ones are not good enough. Let me search. Prowess. Shimmer, that'll get me my seventh land. Three blue here with Gilded Lotus. All right, we need that. Okay. Place the Healy. Challenge you want, then a challenge you'll get. And I will play my compass. Got seven lands, and now it flips to a spire. And I know he's gonna come at me with the questing bee next turn. Looks like Narset's gonna die though. What's he got? Coming at me with the question. And Kirby. Okay, doesn't like Sahili. Interesting, I thought he would kill Narsin. Resting Beast doesn't worry about small creatures. Alright, we're gonna Spire's Questing Beast. See, so he's gonna take some damage here. Go down to Do two loyalty. Grace for weakness. Okay, you're playing that guy. Alright, I should take the time to put a counter on Blast Zone in the turn. Keep all the blast zones I can get. Alright. Getting out of hand here with the creature. I'm gonna bounce him. Maybe he'll not overly commit because he knows I can blast zone him. 
for three. Either way, that's brutal having to rebuild. All right, past the turn, I gotta be able to uh, stop his questing beast from coming in and killing my planeswalker. It is a hasted. All right, he's coming at me. Oh, Re -re Rebuke is so brutal. It gives you such a powerful tempo swing. Oh, he is done. Good old Rivers Rebuke. He has had enough. Guess it's not enough to have a questing beast. All right. I'm looking forward to a little bit more play, but my opponent's convinced it's over. There's game 11. Okay. Hyped up and ready for game 12. Oh, wants to get pounding. Look at that. Someone we're very well familiar with. Salavi. We played this person before. Four lands. It breathes. Mm, this could be good. Got an artifact that I can draw with. One with the machine. Some board control. Plenty of land. Last stone. I'll keep it. Uh -uh. It's on the same deck, too our previous encounter so we know some things about this deck Rakdos and sacrifice tricks oh, I don't like that guy he's a menace and he's drawing him cards deep freeze that guy All right. What else you got? I think I should. Uh, oh no! Come on. Oh, that's such a. That's such a low thing to do. Pop someone's land. All right. I won't play any of my specialty lands. I'm on the lookout for more LD. I'm gonna need my compass. Hopefully he doesn't pop that. Cause that could help me recover from any land destruction. Ah, look at this guy. Look at this guy. He wouldn't pop that. All right. Let's see. Might need my blast zone. So maybe if he has to pop something, the Karn's Bastion. Let's put the manipulator out there. I think I'm gonna tap one of his lands and give him a dose of LD. What do you got? you got oh my god that's disappointing I was hoping to draw four off of that with one with the machine now one with the machines a weak card in my hand all right what do we do 
We play Blast Zone, pass the turn. I'm gonna play something big. Hmm. If he tries to equip creatures with that all the time, that's gonna be a pain for me. That warrants a counter spell, I believe. Every time he slaps that on a creature. You can duplicate it. I'm gonna counter it. Even the creature in play, I believe, even though it's... Its abilities have been removed. Its copy, I think, will be its normal self. If I can recall that happening before. Alright, let's play Mu Yanling. I assist those humbled by the pursuit of Go ahead and tick it up. Bow to the howling winds. Pass the turn. And this guy's all about land destruction. Oh no. All stop. Okay. Looks like Salavi remembers our previous encounter. Probably wants some revenge. Okay. I'm throwing it out there. Curiosity. And I get a free fountain of renewal. What you got? Okay. Coming for me. Pick my hand with chapter two here of the saga. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna play all the things that matter to me. I'm gonna play Sahili. What an interesting creature! Play nicely. Let's see how you work. Focused and disciplined, encounter no obstacles. Let me see. If I get something with Narsa and put in my hand, he's gonna take it from me. Might want to wait and see what happens. I'll go ahead and get the token. Secrets manifest before. I'll you. pass the turn. I don't want to get something good to put in my hand and have it taken from me. So. I wasn't going to use Nars at that turn. Okay. He's trying to get in with that robber of the rich. Uh oh. Oh, he can't draw. <laughs> oh, that was very demoralizing. Nars kept him from drawing two off the artifact. Mm. I was getting nice and stable. It looked like he was in big trouble. Ugin was gonna churn out the tokens. I was gonna look in my library with Narset. It was over. All right, pretty brief game 12. It looks like Salavi did not get his revenge. Hey, Magic players. I'm back. Was able to survive some disgusting land destruction last game. I love my deck. It's resilient. Show me what you got, magic players. Bring it!
been with stops been whip stops been opponents going first I got three lands uh, should be good here treasure map to scry a few times should have mana for Karn I see black mana what are we up against Blue black control shrines. Shrines are pretty nasty. That's the one that drains each up keep you. Yep. It'd be tough dealing with the shrine day. Sanity's gonna take something from me. Um, let me look at the top four. Jeez, I'm, I'm glad I did that. I got through a a pocket where there was no land right there in the top four. Comes the thief. All right, what you got? What you got? He's itching to take from me. Gosh, I hate that. And he dumped some needed land. Make sure I hit land four. Here we go. All right. Come on. No counter spells. So this game probably is essentially over. Tap down the thief. Give me a little bit of a relief here. So I'm just wondering what he stole. The thief gets tapped down. Let me see, I can't miss my land drop. Blast zone could come in handy. Try to get rid of the thief of sanity. In fact, I'm going to pass the turn so I can build up the blast zone. All right. And he keeps draining me. He keeps looking at that card he stole from me. Wonder what it is. If it's something like a mass manipulate, I gotta be careful. Not to put anything good, and any fuel into play for him. Let me see. Should play my ass canter maybe. All right, we're gonna put a counter here. Blast zone. All right, back into his hand. Mm. And that's canter. Keep up mana for an essence capture. I can pop one of those Thief of Sanity to keep it from being played. Mm, it keeps draining me, but I got the Fountain of Renewal to keep gaining it back. Alright, we're gonna essence capture that guy. What 
what you got. Okay, he's gonna keep at it. End of turn, I'm scrying. Do I want that? That would actually be good. I could proliferate. Keep it on top, flip the ass canton. Yeah, you can't let Thief of Sanity uh, just decimate you. Let me see here. Let me get a Gilded Lotus in play. have the mana to proliferate and pop the last zone. Alright, I'm gonna play Karn. Our actions to determine the course of history. Let me see here, what should I do? Dig? I'll dig. There's a deep freeze, it's not gonna give me that. I couldn't nullify the thief with it, probably give me the land. What's he gonna do? I'm actually gonna put it into my hand. Alright, pass the turn. That's why he did it. He knew he could just strip me of it. Ah, oh, the thief. That's the second card he's taken from me now. And I don't know what they are. I'm probably doing okay. I'm about to flip a treasure map. Oh, okay. That's most likely what he stole. Fountain of Renewal. One of the cards, anyway. He's still holding on to another. Alright, in a turn. Treasure map, we're gonna flip it. Okay, this can protect me from the Thief of Sanity. All right. Play the icy. Interested in digging into my library for more goodies. A king's choice. Okay, that's an easy choice there. It's just you gotta give me a land. Play it. Pass the turn. I'm gonna tap his thief of sanity at upkeep. Fountain. Up, keep tap down the thief. Not bad. I think we got a strong position. Still got a mystery card. Oh wow! If not expected. Man, he got all the nasty cards. 
Oh, he's not thinking. He's not thinking at all. In the turn, I'm a Karn's Bastion. That'll put a counter on Blaststone and Karn. He overcommitted there. He's got three, three casting cards. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop them. Mmm. Nice. Karn. How convenient. An excellent choice. This is loaded with the card advantage. Yeah, he must have just not paid attention. His blast zone got three to one card advantage on him. Alright, shimmer possibility. Could I get a Karn? What should I get? Karn the Great Creator? I'm not sure what I should go for. I like suppressing his card draw and being able to draw something useful. All right. There are so many mysteries to uncover. Meditate and prepare. Hmm. Going with the machine. All right, well, he knows that this is not a counter spell, so I can't bluff anything. And I might as well draw four off of having an IC in play. Alright. Gonna pass the turn. Sitting strong here. Well, I know he doesn't have a mass manipulation in hand. Because I just drew my one copy. He keeps looking at it, though. Oh! Still never figured out what was the mystery card. He kept always looking at it. Whatever it was, it wasn't good enough to bounce back. All right, as an example of some card advantage from Blast Zone, I got three for one. Three three drops, just from the one Blast Zone, and it's pretty much game was set from there. There's your game 13. All right, Magic players, let's start game 14. Let's see what happens. trust this. Sometimes two land hands, very suspicious. Started off with Fountain of Renewal. Okay, that's good. I'm glad to see a third land coming up. I don't know what this is all about. I see blue, red. I'll have to see more of the deck. Oh, no. could be some control of some sorts. Okay, third land. It is control. I would like to shut down the drawing capability. I have practiced against many foes like you. Good old Meditate and prepare. Ganley? I 
got a feeling that this could be the kind of deck that has Planeswalker. Maybe I could make tokens to attack him. Alright opponent, maybe my opponent missed his land draw. I didn't see him plop the third land, there it is. Scry land. To the bottom. Okay, let's see some life gain. Just the trick for this. Mmm, Karn is so useful. Always so useful. Oh, uh, we play this. Shrink that guy. The sky is my domain. Mm, pass the turn. From what I see, it looks like humans. Looks very much like humans. Gonna take out. Oh, okay, he didn't take out Narsid. Your actions are not welcome here. I think I'm going to need help controlling the board. So, I can't press for trying to ultimate. It's too much uh, board presence, too much pressure against my plane marker. So, if I get an elemental bird, that's good. Why the winds to victory? Helps control the board. In the blink of an eye, maybe I can bounce my Narset. Get a few more. Card selections. Alright, pass the turn. Might have to start putting counters on my blast zone. Gotta negate just in case. Okay, well, that's. You don't counter stuff like that. Scribe to the bottom. Wonder what he's using the lantern for. He might have something like a uh, Golos. All right, it looks really good holding down the fort with elemental bird token here. All right, in the turn, blink of an eye, kickered on Narsi. creature I'm going to be able to either essence capture or negate depending on whatever the situation may be I'm going to go ahead and put down a wall maybe this allows me to start attacking with my 4-4 bird I do have a lead here in life total because I've been gaining life with my fountain I'm going to go in Right, it's down to 15. Okay, we can't waste the counter or something like that. All right, that we're gonna essence capture. I'm gonna make my bird bigger. As a 5-5, I just, the three attack phases away from winning. Alright, my wall blocks. 
Hey, that extra counter from the essence capture is making it very feasible to come in with damage and win the game. I really don't want to tap out. He could have some removal taking away my, my wing condition, my bird. I'll pass. I want to be able to stop some kind of removal on my elemental bird. Okay, so that's the kind of strange card that gives him a chance to get more creatures. I think that's bad news. I'm gonna negate that. Oh, that's too much. All right, I had a good feel for that game. I didn't press for trying to get ultimate on the Mu Yanling. And it turns out, swinging with the bird token won me the game. All right, that's game 14. I'm back for more Magic players. Game 15. Canter. Uh, I'll trust this. Start it off with an eye. Mm. That looks brutal. And he dumped land that I was gonna need. Well, I did draw a third land. Alright, I'm up against a millstone deck. Ay, ay, ay. I'm still mana bound, so I'm gonna need every little piece of land. I already gotta start working towards getting rid of the crown secrets. So I'll put my blast zone in play, pass the turn. good thing about milling me is he is accelerating the flipping of my Atlanta. So let me see how many in graveyard four. Well, I'm gonna need every piece of land I can get so let's put this on top. I'm wanting to flip my uh, ass canter before I pop the blast zone for two. All right, let's see if we can. Uh, try to. Try to bait out some counter magic. I'm sure he's got counter magic. How about an icy opponent? Okay, it's good. That can mess with his mana every turn. Mm, does not want me to flip that?
Hmm. Maybe I can steal that a little bit later. Go ahead and put the Ascanta back into play. Pass the turn. Let's pin down one of the islands with Icy. That'll cut off some mana. Let's try this. Okay, he can end up drawing a lot off of the Midnight Clock. I'm gonna negate that. Quite a bit. All right, I probably don't have a target for this. He might be playing the the one O four wall though. Let me see what he's got. I'm going to, even though I haven't seen one. I'm going to anticipate that he has the 04 wall that I can essence capture. So I'll keep this on top. And besides, I don't want to mill any more. I am getting milled out quite a bit, so top of library, transform. Alright. He's tapped out, so let's take this thing. Take the J. Let's give him a dose of his own medicine. This coming handy. Yeah, take that. How do you like it? This is midnight clock. Oh, he did have a wall that I could have countered. That I was tapped out. This is excellent. Oh, Jace gives me the backup win. If I do run out of cards, I'll end up winning. So I guess my opponent was convinced that I was going to win with the alternate uh, win condition from Jace. All right. There you have it. Game 15, survive the mill strategy. All right, let's do this. Game 16. Come on, people. Original decks. Not same old, same old. Badger, zero. Three lands. Uh, we can do this, I guess. Keep. Let's get the first play. He starts off. Green, white, gain life land. Island. Done. Pick a second color. Jump start lands. Alright. Second island. Uh what the hell was it? Let's go get something useful. Hmm. 
Not sure what up, I'm up against. Green, white. Now there's red in it. Could be all color. I don't know. Maybe it's Enchantress. Maybe an set can be huge. Stopping additional card drawn. Come on, opponent, what are you working with? Nothing so far. So it is shrines. This could be a problem for me. It's the type of permanent it's hard for me to get rid of. I don't need to see a blast though. Alright, play a feel of ruin. Let's get some card selection. I'll play a card. I could put some pressure on him if I can make some tokens with both Karn and Sahili. Alright, let's put land just in case I need to hit land 5. I have land 5 in hand or land 6. Really doesn't get too crazy here with one good enchant after another. The shrines get very powerful quickly. Okay, so far he's only played some of the tamer ones. That's the one that gains life. Probably running the the old school Kamigawa and the newer ones. Maybe all the shrines. All right, land five. Keep digging. Two more lands there off the top. Damage. And let's do not it. There are so many mysteries to meditate and prepare. I'll take that negate. Of course he knows about it. So that might trip him up, make him worry. He's gotta be careful what he played. Ah, oh, that's such a nasty one. Discard a land card. I'm gonna get it. Could have been the bait to draw out the counter spell. All right. Well, Nars is shutting that down at least for now. Maybe he can kill Nars. I don't know. I do have a backup in my hand. All right. Let's play. You know what? Karn needs to help me against trying. I need this blast zone. I'm gonna play it. I'm gonna attack. Yeah, blast zones are perfect with the problem permanent like enchants. Um 
Get another card. Keep an open mind. Karn, there's Ugin to pop a specific shrine. Might even be better than Karn right now. No. Karn could be good. He can get me play Crucible to keep getting uh, Blast Zones back. Let's play a Fountain of Renewal. Pass the turn. Alright, no card draw for you. That would have been three right there. Some mana. What's the opponent up to? Hmm, nice. It can be huge here. Uh, put a couple of uh, counter blast zone. Got some badger. I'm coming in. He just gained a ton of life. Or is that two for each shrine? He's getting six. I'm only hitting for four each turn. He should be running sweepers. Alright, I need to get more damage going. There we go. See what the opponent's got for that. Pass the turn. Just not drawing those cards. No, it is huge this game. Okay, just a land. All right, end of turn, another counter. Got blast zone on four. I'm thinking I could get. Two of his shrines. I really don't want to lose Karn though. To the same last zone. Alright, opponent, what are you working with? 10 damage? Construct token. Pass the turn. And my opponent is probably dying for some card draw. got to be able to deal with this boy because now that's all right that's it oh it's probably conceding there we go Narset. very oppressive this game it just wasn't drawing those extra cards they needed so much for the shrines deck game 16 all right game 17 Let's do it. Who do we got for an opponent? Sunrock. Three lands. Curving here. One, two, drop. Four. That's keepable. I am in Fountain of Renewal to start it off. That's the 
try on for Soul Tide Colors. Let me get my treasure map into play. Alright, I'm going to avoid tapping out. I did for my treasure map. Just wanted to get some early scrying. Okay, so. Oh my goodness. Field of the Dead decks. This stuff never gets old. Last song. Past the time. Stuck on land. Oh, that might be kind of a lucky thing here. Usually, that kind of deck's gonna ramp like crazy. Right, I don't want to play any of my planes awkward without sufficient backup protection. So I'll wait until I hit six mana before I pop in. I don't want the car and pass the turn. Okay, it only hit four land. What you got? Field of the day tricks. Field of the dead. Field of the day. <laughs> Probably thinking zombie movies here. All right. End of turn. I'll go ahead and uh, treasure map. We'll keep that on top. I think I can anticipate the need to start getting some counters rolling. Those decks typically have Golos and stuff like that. Alright, Karn's Bastion. Pass the turn. Automatic Compass, damn. Do you counter it? Well, it's, it's worth considering because he looks stuck on land. Alright. We're going to try to prevent that ramping. You got another one. All right. End of turn. I'll flip my treasure map. Oh, field of ruin. Very good. I'll keep that on top. treasure tokens and I would definitely spend a blast zone to keep them off getting more lands with the matter compass oh this is going to be a great turn field of ruin I'll go ahead and uh, kill off the compass Feel the ruin. Feel the other dead. Mm. That was a great turn. Very satisfied with my work here. Alright, I don't think I would waste three treasure tokens to put out one of my planes. I'll wait till next turn. Kept the field of the dead deck off its normal speed. Normally there'd be like 10, 20, 30 zombies coming at me. So 
Well, I'm not sure if graveyard matters to this build or not. Well, I'm gonna start off with the other car, Scion. He probably has a removal. Unless I pay three. Opponent's got counter magic. All right. I advise that you yield. Well chosen. Try to get some card selection here. Reveal a couple of cards off the top. Alright, it kept me from getting shimmer. Past the turn. Accelerated yet? Five lands and no fuel of the dead in play. Mm. Spinning lands, interesting card. Some of the new Amonkhet remastered stuff. Utility stuff, well, one of one island, Vantress and Bastion all pinned. Okay, I drew my spell swindle. Great card, gives me tons of treasure tokens potentially. Alright, Khan, do your thing. Find me some good. Get a land in play. Pass the turn. I'll be able to untap my specialty lands next turn. Mmm, Zendikar is boiled. There's potential for problems here. It's a problem permanent. I have a hard time dealing with the enchant. I'll go ahead and spell swindle. Five treasure tokens. Right? He is sneaking another field of the dead in. Alright. I kind of force in my hand here. I'm gonna play the other car. I have been worse than the likes of you. True goodness can never. Oh, he knows what's up. <laughs> well, it was my intention to go fetch Crucible of Worlds. I don't know if my opponent just knew that automatically. It was getting kind of nasty here. Eight treasure tokens in play. The two different cons. Yeah, it was my intention to get Crucible of Worlds and then refetch Field of Ruin. Play it and pop his other Field of the Dead. Kept him off his game plan. Alright, that was a quick one. That's the power of Karn. He gets it done. Game 17. All right, Magic players, what you got for me? Game 18. Tibol, Tibol, Bolchbe. Who knows how that name's pronounced? Three lander. It's keepable. Island. What are we up against? Oh my goodness. A plains. Not the mono white stuff. Another plane. Oh, 
that's a new, that's more like a, a control car. So I'm not sure if it's mono white aggro or what. Alright. Last up. Go ahead, opponent. What do you got for me? Ooh, that's not good. I think we're looking at a dedicated control deck. Oh, no, not control, but maybe token. Token and controller. Alright, I gotta try. I could need that at some point. Bounce a board of tokens. Alright. Well, Khan's gonna have to start making some creatures here to block with. Evil must not. Evil cannot withstand a righteous army. Alright. Okay, the biggest one. That's the turn. Hopefully I can get to land six. Awaken! And he is coming at me with everything. Field of ruin. Ooh. Wait a minute. I'll scry in response. Gotta get my next land. Well, after I get the shuffle though, I have no idea. Yeah, yeah. Then this is gonna be me getting my land. Defend the weak at every opportunity. Okay, so I made a mistake. I should have waited. I believe you. I should have waited for uh, the land to be in play and then scribe. Now it's not clear if I get land six. Come on, I desperately need. I desperately need a six land. There it is. Get out of here with that. Uh, he's gonna come back relatively quickly. Oh, that's a mistake. I thought he was gonna, he can't take out the treasure map, that's right. It's a two casting cost. It still seems like a mistake to have played the Elspeth Conqueror to death. Should have just replayed Karn, started drawing. It actually gives me a chance. I guess my opponent didn't know the enchant was going to fade out and go to the graveyard anyway. Counter. Damn, I made another mistake. 
week. I forgot to shuffle back in my Karn. Yeah. If I get an S Canta, I definitely want a graveyard build. Alright, let's go. In the turn, Scry. Wu Yang Ling. Is that really good enough? No, I can't rely on that. I need something more. There we go. That's Canton. With four in graveyard. Play my ass Canton. Yeah, one with the machine's kind of weak without any artifact. Let me see if I can draw something. Treasure token. Oh. Take away my Gilded Lotus. I need the extra mana boost from that. So uh, I'm gonna negate that. Coming in for six, it looks like. I will lend you my strength. This token that is six coming my way. Let me draw a card. Sack of treasure. All right, this could help avoid some damage. So keep this on top. compass after, at, in the turn. But I will lose Uga. Unfortunate. Alright opponent, what do you got? Alright. It's just the one one. I'm going to let it resolve. I'm worried about other things. That's what I'm worried about. Damn. I can't 
can't counter it. It's a planeswalker. All right. Give me the Jura at your service. Share my light. Oh, he actually sent them ball at Ugin. Alright, well, I don't have to tap my spire, it's alright. This is not my first ending. here Stack my treasure draw a card hmm do I put two counters I think I have to No good to me. I gotta deal with the boar. Graveyard spell swindle. Flip the Ascanta. Alright. I might have a chance here. Play Castle Ventures. Hold on, hold on. Damn, he has proliferation. With Karn's Bastion. Well, I only have one field of ruin at the moment. There's only one in the whole deck, actually. Alright, we're gonna play... Ventress for the ability to scry. Three mana. We are popping. Retreat. Right, I think I should be able to survive another turn at least. Blink of an eye, something, and spires, another creature. And I can even counter something with essence capture. What do you got? Oh, this is such a nightmare. Join me, and I will protect you as my own. My sand will, will protect, protect you. Something off the top here. As can't ever swap. Let's see here. Very delicate. I don't know if I'm on the Platinum Angel plan or what. He could be vulnerable to a Platinum Angel fetched. All right. Strike two, and a turn. Let's see, two creatures. Oh. 
burn the island and get the IC. IC manipulate. change of plan since I see actually it allows me to hold down the board Basri gets the name let's stop his loyalty ability it's looking good upkeep I'll tap his grateful apparition knows he's on lockdown nice yeah yeah it was really nice icy manipulator and the spire stops the two creatures on board spyglass his planeswalker abilities and I've got a lot of card manipulation with Ascanta and Castle Vantress and I could even search for more goodies with Karn there you have it game 18 All right, it's time to play my favorite deck. Game 19. The Archhound. Interesting name. Forelander. Not really an amazing hand, but... I guess it's doable. Okay, my opponent, Mulligan. Oh no. Oh no. It's a mountain. Bound to be aggressive. Okay, so lots of direct damage if he's playing that field, that prosthetic field. What do you got, opponent? What do you got? Nothing. I'm gonna play a blast zone. So I'll be able to counter on it. Try to take out that wall. Those things actually do a lot of damage after a while. Wow, nothing? Guess my opponent didn't have the killer hand. Put a counter on my blast in, in the turn. Probably gonna sneak some spells in. Let me see here. Play my cards fast. Pass the turn. This is hilarious. He still hasn't done anything. Okay, now he's starting the damage. That's a total of four because of the wall. Alright, I'll take it. Put my castle ventry. Pass the turn. Oh, 
What do you got upon it? Nothing? Hmm. Well, if I tap down and... Alright, I'm gonna try to try and turn. That leaves me vulnerable. Alright. I'm gonna get that ass can to push it to the top. Probably won't need the time my eyes to the bottom. Feel the ruin. Where's my gleaming barrier? Maybe it'll come in handy. I still suspect he just has straight burn and he's only running stuff like the electrostatic field. Just to make his burn do more damage. What do you got, opponent? What do you got besides mountains? Oh, wow, he's gonna get a scry off of that. Alright. I'll take my three damage. Nothing? I think I'm just gonna pop the wall. That eventually does add up the damage from that thing. Plus I get a treasure from my barrier going away. Well, it being a red deck wasn't that aggressive. Probably had really bad draw. All right, play my Ascanta. Two in the graveyard. I'll leave up some devious cover up mana just in case. What do you got, opponent? Another wall. I'm gonna essence capture then. Get out of here with those things. That stuff is nickel and dime. You can going dime you to death. Alright. Three, six, seven. Could I use another land? I think so. Oh, I'll play Narset. Now oh, it looks like my opponent's already out of steam. The focus and discipline. Encounter no obstacles. You got no board. I have just the trick for this. Let me see here. I'll take the shimmer. Pass the turn. What do you got? Alright, I'll take three. What else you got? Oh, look at that. I'll take two. Alright, so he has nothing. Oh, this is looking great. Let me see here. End of turn, I think I'm going to scry with Ventress. Oh, we don't need any more land. Keep the Karn on top. What do we got, Narset? Hone your prowess. Uh, maybe I'll take one with the machine. Play cock. Are you fightful, my friends? Are you certain of your decision? Reveal some stuff. Most likely he'll give me the land. Instead of Karn, the creator, great creator. Alright. That gives me devious cover up mana. 
past the turn it's looking solid if I haven't gotten burned out up until now it's not likely I will okay I'll take two let me see here I don't really want to dump a narcissist I'll keep that I'll play this new narcissist Wait a minute. I don't really need to right now. With my Karns Bastion, I can get some loyalty on my Planeswalker. Or, you know, it'd be really fun just to go get Karn the Great Creator. Play here. I will not stop. Chaos won. That would be such an insult. Burn him out with his own burn spell. Come on, opponent. I could use a blast zone. I'm gonna keep that on top. Play a chaos one. Wait a minute. Tap three island. Chaos one. We get something else. I will you on your corruption. Shadow spear. I'm getting low on life. Play it. And I'll make some tokens here. <laughs> there is great power in the beast we make. Pass the turn. I'll take it. I gotta be careful. He could have some of those burn spells that are uncounterable. So I definitely have to gain some life. Wait, wait, wait. And the turn chaos one. I'll just waste his double cast. Mm, put that on top. I could use more mana. Alright, let's keep churning out the token. Allow me to introduce you to a friend of mine. Alright, definitely need to gain some life. Coming in for five. Life link. I'm up to ten again. Pick up Karn the Great Creator. <laughs> I was wondering where he was going to concede. It was just too much. Well, that was going to get very insulting. I was going to eventually burn him out with my Chaos Wand. Throwing his own spells at him. Plus, I was gaining a lot of life. So it wasn't really much of a matchup. All right, that's game 19. Mono Red is dead. All right, ready for game 20, Magic Player. With the favorite deck, Blue Artifact. Angle, John Angle. Yeah, two lander. Do you have a shimmer? Thaumatic compass to fetch more land. It should be alright. I'll keep. Island. Blast zone. I'm gonna shimmer to find my third land. 
Mmm, look what I have to pass up. Karn and devious cover-ups. Alright, well I do need the land. No doubt about that. Okay. Well, I should uh, deep freeze this mana creature. Uh, keep him off his ramping. Right, more ramping creature. I'll go ahead and time a bite. Tap that guy down. Keep him from mana producing. Jeez. Bounce the visionary because it gives him card draw. I'll just select the same guy from before for the tap down. And that guy, visionary taps for mana. Hmm. I think it's time to get something in play like Khan. I'm looking for my fifth mana if I can get it. Unless he wants to keep me off my mana fire. Alright, my opponent did give me my fifth mana. What do you got, opponent? Blue and green. Oh no. Card draw galore. Alright. Castle Vantage. Let me see. I think I'm gonna grab this essence capture. This card. I'm hoping. For my patience to be rewarded. <laughs> Got an essence capture. I'm gonna go ahead and deep freeze this uh, Crasset before it becomes a pain. It starts threatening Karn. Alright, deep freeze. And pass the turn. That's the bait spell. They really want to get the visionary in to draw the card. All right, we we'll let that resolve. Oh, it's three color. Once again, that's just the bait spell. Just let that resolve. What do you got, opponent? Anyway, we don't want that guy to get active. He's trying to take away the deep freeze. Alright, I'm gonna negate that. My turn. Clean Island. Let's go revealing cards. What's he gonna give me? No, he didn't want to give me Rivers Rebuke. But that wouldn't be so good anyways, if you're putting a crisis back in his hand. Alright, what do we got here? I'm going to play a thematic compass. That'll help control the board. I'm up to seven lands. It's going to flip. Pass the turn. 
Now what do you got, opponent? What do you got for me? Hmm. I don't like that guy one bit. That's plus two, plus two, all his creatures, and it's hasty. I'm gonna spell Swindle Dead. Eight treasure tokens. What a swindle! Alright. I'll spire one of them guys. Karn ends up taking one less damage. Please stop! Oh, that was wonderful. Eight treasure tokens after countering with Spell Swindle. Alright, there's a River's Rebuke, but this is not the right card here. I'll keep revealing. A King's Choice. Island for the turn. Now I'm gonna get the manipulator into play. Pass the turn. I see one of the creatures. Keep it pinned down this combat. What do you got, opponent? What do you got? Go ahead and essence capture that guy. I think I should actually do uh Let me see here. Should be willing to sack some of these tokens. Go ahead and essence capture that guy. Now what you got, opponent? Mmm, that was the bait spell. Alright. You got a Gargaroth? Gar gar oh, we gotta deal with that guy, so... Um, how should we do this? Well, I could always blink with an eye on that guy. Right now, I want to scry with my Castle Ventress and the turn. Okay. Bottom the fountain, and I'm uh, definitely keeping them mass manipulation. This is gonna be brutal for my opponent. I think I can mass manipulate the whole board. Six, seven, eight, nine. How many treasure tokens? Ten? Well, not quite the whole board. That's a lot of things. Alright. I got. I think I can get his entire board here. Twelve mana. Five creatures. One, two, three, four, five. Wait, 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 wait. I messed up. I can only do four. I can't be that greedy. One, two, three, four. Karn? Alright, well, I couldn't be as greedy as I wanted to. Stealing four creatures is good. Just left them one guy. Alright, he's gonna need something really good off the top. Alright, that gives him some card draw. What do you got, opponent? Cavalier. No, 
gonna be good enough. End of turn. Tap down, Cavalier. Alright. Gonna tap down, Visionary. Gonna send in. Gargaroth. Get him, Gargaroth. Go ahead and uh, I get a beastie in play. Okay, my opponent jumps. And he takes trample damage. All right, I think I'm gonna get something in that time. One with the machine will be good right now. Go ahead and draw four cards. Play an island. Pass the turn. What do you got, opponent? Another cavalier. In the turn, that's an interesting creature. It leaves behind stuff, even when you kill them. All right, Conclave Vantress in the turn. Bottom the fountain. Keep as cant on top. All right, I got a loaded graveyard. Good enough to flip as Kanta. Oh, I could use a little bit more mana. Guild loaded. Tap the loaded. Time of ice. Tap down the Cavalier. Go ahead and tap down the other guy. Come in with Gurgara and Beastie. And well, this time I'll draw a card. What you got, opponent? Alright. Karn will reveal some more cards. I'll make use of that later. Play of last time. And I'm um, sitting pretty good. I see how something crazy like an Ugin to wipe out this board. Your turn, opponent. Zeus is not in a cut. It. Oh, he can see. He knows it's insufficient. A one two body. There you have it. Interesting game 20. Sat there and used the opponent's own resources against him. <laughs>